Hello guys and welcome to Extreme Droid. I'm your host Samir and Xiaomi had finally released the much awaited lollipop update for Redmi 2 and Redmi 2 Prime which is running on the top of latest MIUI 7.2. So in this video I'm going to do a review on what's new and what are the major changes on this ROM and is it stable enough to use it as your daily driver. To get these answers let's begin the video. Now as you can see that I am holding a Redmi 2 Prime. Let me show you that it is running on Android Lollipop. I would like to mention that this is a Chinese developer ROM. The global version is under testing and Xiaomi will release that soon so you have to wait little bit. If you take a quick look over the user interface and looks then you will find that there are some minor changes here and there. Like if you swipe down the notification panel then you will see that there is a new search bar and the music player has been removed which I think looks good. Moving forward to some other major changes of this ROM which includes daily lock screen wallpaper and it really looks cool. By just a single tap you can change as many wallpaper as you like according to your mood. The next major change is the newly designed file manager which now have three different sections recent, categories and storage which makes the file navigation more easier and less time consuming. It also have the option to hide your entire folder. There is also a newly added feature called ACR Cloud. It's basically a sound recognition software which works when you do humming of any sound like this. <laughs> So if you are a music lover then this feature is definitely for you. If we take a look over the camera app then you will sadly find nothing new. It's just the same as the previous one but it really doesn't matter because MIUI camera is the best. At last the gaming performance which is quite decent as I really did not expect more from the device due to its lower end Snapdragon 410 chip which is good enough to run some really cool games. So guys this is my full review of this ROM and I am testing this ROM since 2 weeks and gladly I did not encounter any major bug. So in my opinion, yes, this ROM is stable enough to use it as your daily driver. This is Samir signing off, hope you will like this video. Do subscribe to my channel for more future updates. See you guys in my next video.